what is up everyone welcome back for another eternal draft video i'm jedi also known as he's the crowd pleaser and we're gonna be jumping into defiance set five i believe this is draft number nine for us so got a ticket from one of the diamond drops and we're gonna capitalize on it all right going into this ooh, shiny huntsman all right so we have this is a great pack actually we have barrel through we have new order watching we have keridan stewart and we have red canyon smuggler uh if i, I pretty solid solidified in the smuggler reason being is that it's i really like the smugglers they give you access to cyborg cards without really hurting your deck construction or deck building on the main board they typically are really great bodies on their own and uh yeah i mean they're just solid cards the other notables in this pack that i would lean forward towards is new order Watchwing and keridan stewart typically i'd want to take a one faction card or something a little more neutral like a bannerman but like i said the merchants are so good and it, it is in two colors that we're kind of excited to play so we're gonna go ahead and take that but we're still willing to get rid of it i've dumped a merchant before it being my first pick Ooh, all right so it's still early to pick right uh notables in the pack is only forge master frost talisman and display of honor it is a little early to take a tri-faction card you typically want to be looking for these things somewhere along to picks four to six to get the real payoffs but the fact that it is once again, in a faction, we don't mind being IE Ixton, and the display is really great. It's just, this one's solid. It removes a big unit if you have issues. It also, hey, Sandy, good to see you. How are you doing today? And it has plus four, plus four, and light steel is a huge turn, especially having a smuggler already in those colors. And if we, I mean, we could do a 12-point life swing with this thing. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and take the display here. All right, what we got going on? So, ooh, once again, two good signs uh, that's looking for us. We have a Elvish Swindler, which picks up the Frost Talismans very well. I do like that. Pistol Whip is a solid pickup to trigger Renown, even though we have not picked up any Renown. And kind of leaning, uh, also staying in our colors, a really good finisher combat trick is Mighty Strikes. So... I typically like taking units over spells, but Mighty Strikes is pretty huge. It has a good chance as of right now to make our deck. So, and we're seeing plenty of two cards that could potentially come back as well, as well as a token that we can use in our deck. So uh, I'll take that of note. We haven't seen, and well, I can't say that. The only red card here is here. I do like Intimidator. So there's a chance that Shadow might be open. This is a third pick Intimidator. Not really 100% sure where the bots um, take it at or prioritize it. But like I said, I'm going to hedge my bets a little bit and take Mighty Strikes. Okay, ooh, another payoff. We got Bare Arms. This card, I was kind of medium about it and I've come up on it. I think it's really efficient. Pompous Historian, that's great. Uh, Lens of Clarity and Cabal Scavenger don't really do much. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, and Lazy Fireman is a great one. So is Barrel Through. Definitely fixes our colors. So, and it triggers Renown, but Bear Arms is just really solid. I've seen it do some serious work. So we're going to go ahead and lean towards it. In fact, we just saw it beat us in the sealed a little bit ago. So I'm going to go ahead and take Bear Arms here. All right. Ooh, Pitfall Trap. All right. And a foil one. So yeah, I think that's pretty easily going to be a pick. Uh, the only other notable in the pack is going to be Court Mage, but I think we could pick them up. Here's a really late Intimidator as well, I feel like. Or not really late, but... So there is a really good chance Shadow is open. Uh, my week's been pretty well. Can't complain. Been pretty productive, so I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, uh, did a podcast and got some editing done and stuff like that. I taught class last night. It's been pretty good, Sandy. Uh, we'll take the Pitfall Trap. All right, here's where we're starting to see a little bit of drawing up. Uh, Ruckus Rouser, the only card that maybe we'd really want. I'm not really excited about that. Not going for Disassociate or Reinforced Tower Shield. Steel Resolve might be a thing. So there may be a chance that we shift. Uh, it's a little unfortunate considering we're five picks in, but 
maybe not. And I feel like every pick we got was pretty valuable. Um, so I'm going to take the courtier here. Oh. Trying to think what goes with the intimidator that we may still see. Uh, it just depends. Um, there's tons of things. That's why I enjoy playing this game, Sandy. It just, depending on the kind of player you are and what you take interest in, what you're good at, there's all kinds of things that can prove to be difficult. Sometimes building the draft deck, sometimes drafting, sometimes knowing when to read your opponent, uh, constructed is as well. Like there's the market mechanic one to get cards in and out of your market. So I feel like there's a lot of different things that you can claim are the most difficult um, that being said, I do think they do a very good job through the tutorials and stuff, kind of teaching you how to play. And there's plenty of other content creators that make uh, stuff for people to get better, including myself. So, yeah. Uh, ugh. Not really excited about any of these picks. So I think I might just take Flickerling. Uh, ooh, there we go. Forge Master is good. I like that. And it's late. So that might still be a good sign for us. Uh, we could take the knowledge. Uh, we're not as of right now we're not the relics matter so yeah no problem by all means you guys can ask as many questions as you like i'd be more than happy to answer them so we're gonna pick up the forge master uh there we go seeing a coastal recruit i like that of note broken wing brawler is good but i always typically lean towards the cheaper spells we can get more expensive spells later uh here we're not seeing anything so Sure, take the replicator, cut it. There we go. Here's a token right where we want to be digging that. So I don't think we're wrong, but we, I don't know, I'm not 100% on this. Uh, ooh, really late hammer. I do like having a, exactly one of these in my deck. So we'll pick that up. Ah, I see that, and then that's what we get. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take the and cut that one. Uh, scrap heap. Your grid units have charge once per turn, you may pay five. So this card is kind of legit. It definitely helps you win the grindy games. Other notables, oh man, this pack is just stacked. Jeez, could we just get these cards across multiple packs? I'm slightly inclined to take it because it's a rare I need, but changey stick, changey stick is just the nuts. So we'll take changey stick noticeables, our finest hour. Trailmaker, which we're not in the colors. We're not in suffocated as well. So only Ronin would probably be competing here. Uh, if the changey stick was not here, I would take scrap heap, but changey stick. Uh, let's see other notables here. Believe it or not, I think it's actually hatchling. Maybe mace, we might take the mace just to have another removal spell type thing. Uh, Mystic, oh, maximum power of each of your explorers. I actually might just take this for my rarity thing, honestly. Uh, not really, I don't really feel like we're missing out a lot if we miss on a Cloud Snake or a Mace. So I'll just take the rare pick there. You guys can call me out on it later. Alright, here we go. So we have Lightning Strike, we have Topaz Drake, Copper Hall Porter, Banner doesn't fit, Family Charter, but I don't think it really goes in this deck. Uh, Yeti double damage and create trail story, which which is that reduces the cost of a card in your hand. Reduce the cost of a spell in your hand by one. Uh, it's kind of technically a two two for for two, but uh, I mean it does combo well with stuff like the mace actually. So it's between that and lightning strike for me. I think we're actually going to try it just because of the fact that we, it looks like we are, especially we slap a bare arms on it. That's huge. Um, uh, yeah, we'll try it. We'll see what's up. Ooh, another merchant. Oh, the only thing that stinks is off colors. That's a bummer. But who knows? We might actually splash that and then we could put changey stick and pitfall trap in it or display. So yeah, actually, I think I'm going to take it. The only other things in contention is the banner. Literally. So yeah, we'll take the merchant. Uh, Deputy Smith and Spike Town. Gross. Nothing really exciting. Guess we'll take the helm. Not planning on playing it. Bustion Cell. Not really going to use that. Grenadine Drone. Okay, or Helm. I like Peacekeeper Helm. I like the silence on it. So I think I'm going to take that over Grenadine Drone. 
who so we have a banner we have a copper hall recruit we have refracted sentinel and i don't think we're the refracted sentinel deck so i'm actually gonna take the banner uh hmm so we have ronin over acolyte uh, as of right now we actually didn't get any of the major payoffs for renown we did get two double damage things so I think I'm going to take the Ronin here. Uh, just a chance we can kind of steamroll the Warcry might be a thing. We'll take that. Uh, Backlash, Transmorgifier. We'll take the Javelin for removal. Uh, yeah, I believe a guy by the name of Loco Pojo, Pojo uh, does a lot of beginner stuff. So uh, he will definitely have a couple of videos if not i'm more than welcome to do a couple of tutorials for you guys and stuff like that and walk you through it uh oh yeah definitely gonna take the stranger here it's in our colors over the seven drop or the deadly we're not gonna play that was in this pickup um uh, not really excited about barbarian camp so we'll just take the uncommon the stone and not playing gill prowler where's that at all right let's see draw a weapon from your void tribute play it yeah i don't think that's enough of an impact Ooh, a couple of things we got going on. Let's see. So we have Rebel Sharpshooter, which is a good payoff for our equipment. We have Lightning Strike. We have Finest Hour. And then we have our 7-drop. Meh. So I think I like 3 Thieves for 3. This one has some upside. Looking at our curve, it looks like we are going to be pretty solid in Fire. So I hate passing a removal. Mm. Yeah, actually, I think I will take the removal spell here. I want to be able to kill stuff. Ooh, Waystone. I might actually just take that. Oh, Reinvigorate. That's a solid pickup too. Uh, Strength of Many and Welding Torch. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Waystone here just for my collection. Uh, mainly, Revigorate's fine, but I feel like we're going to be alright. Uh, getting tricks and stuff. So, I'm just going to take the stone and we'll cut it. What's this one do? Summon each one of your units. Deals one damage to enemy player. A little expensive for a five, but ooh, oh, we might take the watch wing here. Let's see. Yeah, nothing really exciting in this pack. Kind of dried up a little bit. So we'll take the evasion guy that has also war cry. Uh, when you play a spell, it gets plus one in quick draw. So let's see how many things we have because I might actually take a Ronin here. So let's see, we have one two three four four ways of equipping units all right we'll take the shield and then we'll start picking up more lower cost spells at this point uh ugh, this is not exciting not really still going to pick up a topaz drake we're not going to engage that so we'll take an adept here uh, let's see another javelin I don't think we need it looks like we're gonna be splashing primal so I don't really want to go double primal here nothing else in the pack is really pulling so we might just end up it's javelin and hatchling I think we could pick up a couple of one drops so we'll take the then ooh all right there's a good one uh, we'll definitely end up ooh fixing fixing and removal let's what else does it do sentinels which i don't think we have any so i'll take the banner do the fixing here Ooh, i do like our valkyrie we'll pick up that's a solid pickup for us uh yeah we'll take the valkyrie nothing going on we do have one stranger to fix uh all right guess we are gonna run a flash freeze in this deck there we go we'll take a hatching over a third javelin and a drone sweet all right, so the deck's not looking amazing, but it's not bad. Uh, so we have Forge Master, Bannerman, Token, and Photographer here. All can easily go in our deck. But I think we're going to easy, easy pick for the Bannerman here on this one. So we'll take that over the Token that does fit in our colors for the Forge Master. Just, I'd rather have the fixing. And there's a good chance we'll get Forge Masters late. Uh, there's another Token, like I said. Uh, we do have the Valkyrie, but I'll pick up the token here. 
think we'll see plenty of Valkyries it being common. We see them late. Makeshift Barrier is a solid one as well. And other than that, nothing else. So we'll take the token. Bottoms up. Barrel through. And Vorlunk. What are we doing at our top end? We actually have no top end. That's a little scary. Draft is looking a little scary. Uh, let's... There's Intimidator. Yeah. I'll get the Vorlunk so we have one way of winning. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Nothing real exciting. I guess I'll probably take the Sentinel. We can run exactly one of them. Seraph's Beacon is just okay. Not really thrilled about Huntmaster. Where are we at on twos? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're actually good on twos. So I will take the Sentinel, but be willing to essentially give it up. There we go. Payoff number one, Beastmaster. Definitely taking that over the Bannerman, even though it is in close contention. Another barrier and Sarpod were not in, so taking the Beastmaster. Another display of honor. Oh yeah. Alright. Sucks that we're taking it over Forge Master, but card's great. Got rewarded with the Forge Master. This now oh, this deck is coming together. Alright, gonna take the recruit. Uh do we want the silence effect or do we want the token? I think having a silence effect. Yeah, I'm going to take the silence effect here. We've kind of aggressively taken our fixing, so I think that's okay. Uh, sure, we'll pick up a blaze. And our pod. All right, well, the deck didn't quite come together as much as I wanted it to, but... It is not absolutely horrible, and we also have a market. So, and luckily, we can actually put multiple cards in the market. So, let's see what we're going to throw in there. Uh, well, let's make some cuts first. So, we could put in our second. Oh, no, we can't because they're smugglers. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? see what I would like to put in there and actually it's not looking very promising actually uh run a token that's about it actually we're not gonna really capitalize on our market but it is still a double strike unit and got double rare there all right let's go look at our deck make some cuts first all right 22 units I do like evasion we might cut the drone Cut the that Bannerman. Diplomat is a late game play. Prior Yeti. Sauropod's gonna get cut. Merchant, I like it just because it has Aegis, so we can slap a bare arms on it and be okay. Uh, recruit's fine. We got one watch wing, so we did miss out. We're not playing Replicator Engine. And between Vorlunk and Magmatic Sentinel, I think we're actually gonna put the Vorlunk in the board. Yeah, I like that. Uh, let's see. Peacekeeper Helm, Pitfall Trap, Bear Trap is good, Change You Stick. Steward and Oath Hammer. Alright, Lightning Strike, two displays of honor, a flash freeze. Probably put the flash freeze. And I don't think we're splashing for blaze. Oh, what does that put us at power? That's 18 power. Make four cuts. I like that. Uh, let me see for people wanting to learn basic yeah so key cards kind of depend on what else you have in the deck yes correct sandy uh there are different deck synergies and stuff that you're looking for so it just kind of depends the kind of deck you are putting together which is where you would value or undervalue cards uh based on that if that kind of makes sense so let's see probably end up putting Maybe we could put the hammer. Since we only want one, put it in the market. I like that. Uh, that's a solid. I'm not super high on flash freeze. I know some people are, but I'm kind of not. 
I think I'm going to cut that over everything else that we have. And then you still need to make two cuts. Our deck is actually fairly low the ground. I don't want to cut a unit. Hmm. Two cuts, two cuts. Maybe we do. Maybe you do cut Sentinel. I just like the fact that it gives us a little bit of late game play. This has evasion, so and then we if we cut this, it'll be at 17 units, which is a little low. Lightning Strike, two displays, Mighty Strike, Pitfall Trap, Bear, Changey Stick. Alright, I'll cut the Lightning Strike. And I guess Ronin will be the least impactful out of all this. I guess we could put the Diplomat in the board if we need the Silence effect. Our deck might actually be low enough to the ground where we can actually go 17. I think I might just do that. We have what? All these produce primal, so we can cut one primal. I like that. All right, let's go to the market. And the market, we're going to slap all the cards that we want to use but didn't. So we can't play our colorless cards. We're not splashing for anything. Let's get... Where are they at? Lightning Strike, Flash Freeze, Warlunk, and Oath. Not playing Whetstone. What other red cards do we want? Sh sure. I'll put a Sigil in there. Why not? Cool. Alright. Seems alright. Let's... Uh, your deck is valid for the reasons market invalid cards. Are used. Oh, okay, got it. We can't put. Oh, okay. My bad. Let's fix that real quick. Can't be a fire sigil. So, what else can we put? I would like to have some power in there, though. Sadly, we didn't get anything, and this thing won't work. It color. I don't think it works. Let me double check, but I don't think it does. Yeah. It doesn't. So, what else do we want to slap in there? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can we put a second one in there? No, we cannot. It can only be one of a kind. The deck ended up being a little tighter than I thought. So, yep. I guess we just put the drone in there. Might as well have access to all the cards. I guess I would have liked to pick up a... Uh, a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A meltdown, but hey, what is up, everyone? Now, here we go for a game number one of this draft, and we have all our colors. We have turn one, turn two, play. Things are looking good. I think this is a keep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, this is great. Gonna start off with Oni Ronin just the way we marked it up. Throw that down. Hopefully, we can get underneath our opponent's strategy. I like that. Uh, let's get in there first. And then... Let's follow it up with... A Forge Master. Just in case we draw a trick or something. Don't think I'm going to use Changey Stick this early. Ooh. Alright, that's a little unfortunate. But not the end of the world. Oh, hey, there we go. With the Warcry trigger, like that. That is a good Changey Stick target. Let's get in there for two. Play our power and think still want to wait. So let's just get our adept out. Adept. Adept. I do like the fact that they used a permafrost. All right. Slightly unfortunate because this potential of dying, but I'm okay making this trade. Reason being is this thing can potentially get crazy. Uh, I would have liked to see power there. That is a little unfortunate. And now I will run out the double damage. Alright, alright, let's see. Hmm. 
and power deals double damage to weapon uh what's in our market well i really don't want to ship anything back though right uh i guess we can flash freeze sure i'll get flash freeze here so let's play this guy send this guy back pick up flash freeze and then whatever they play will freeze the two units and get in there for eight yeah that seems good okay that's a little horrendous okay okay all right well we're definitely gonna get in there now so let's freeze these two they have something oh that's a bummer all right well we're definitely not gonna be able to capitalize on it like we like to that's a little unfortunate but we're still gonna beat and i think we can hold off on this since it's zero cost all right all right so we have an answer but we're gonna need some power we actually have multiple answers believe it or not all right that's fine for right now let's get this guy out still not really attacking if we draw power we're in business because then we can activate this for six and that is awesome take this out give this guy flying and then put yeah so I'm gonna take this hit here it's a little unfortunate I got double war cry ugh Pitfall trap is not what we wanted to see right now, like I said. Uh, so let's go ahead and trigger the war cry. Let's return you pay one to draw a card and discard. Use it only if you've played a unit this turn. We're going to shoot this because we got nothing else going on. They do have a fast spell. And we will pass. Oh, no kidding, Sandy. That is awesome. Uh, we're going to take one more hit here. That is fantastic. What's the name of the store? Ugh, really, Deck? Really? Uh, all right. Oh, let's get our third... We have so many outs, gosh. All right, well, we are gonna jump block here. We definitely can't take this full brunt force. Uh, that is a little unfortunate, but next turn we hopefully can come back. So we'll see what's up. Probably gonna block block. Yep, so block, block, take five. They are going to have a pump spell here, but hopefully it's not enough to kill us. Oh, oh well, yeah. Darn it. Yep. That's really unfortunate. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's a wicked cool name. Yeah, the paper card game I play is uh, Magic the Gathering. I don't play as much because just it doesn't line up with my schedule very well that's one of the reasons why i started to play eternal but yeah it's uh there are plenty of core games that are a ton of fun the strategy is great it's awesome yeah chewbacca i mean we knew they had a fast spell but i don't think we could have played around it i think it would have been a really different game there should that last power have come in um undepleted and then we could have done what we had initially planned but such is life Of note, I think my sequencing as well as my drops was a little bad, but um, it's okay. Uh, here, this does absolutely nothing, and they are going first, so we don't want to get overrun. We're going to go ahead and redraw. Uh, ooh, okay, so we have one of our combos here, which is the Yeti with bare arms. And so we are going to pledge. Yeah, we're going to keep this. I think this is solid. We will pledge and then turn to the Yeti turn three bear arms depending on what the coast is and then turn four we can hopefully double unit and start getting in there uh so let's see what's up i like that let's go ahead and pledge uh turn 
Oh, that's actually a little unfortunate. We won't be able to turn two because we don't have a fire. All right. Uh, yeah, so literally we can't do any of our turn twos. So let's go ahead and fire now. That is a little bit unfortunate, but we do realize we are going to hit our curve. I'm going to hold off on the march it, merchant because we're still going to get double damage. And if this guy dies, we get a little bit of value. Plus, I want to be able to do it at a point uh, right on time, right? Uh, let's see. So let's just get this. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to get this guy out here and do this. We're going to take one hit from the dog, and then next turn we'll bear arms and then play the adept to block the dog, and we can potentially get in there for four? Six. So let's see what's up. Interesting. How long have they uh, owned the store, Sandy? Yeah, that's the cool thing about gaming stores. Is a lot of times end up being a, a lot more of a social thing. Sweet, that's a good pickup. That would have helped us last game too. The fact we didn't see either of those. All right, let's stick to our game plan. They are tapped out. So we're going to try to take advantage of this short window we have. And let's see if we can get there. I think. Yeah, cool. So if they attack, we are going to trade here, uh, or at least get the combat trick out of their hands. Uh, oh, cool. That won't... Ugh. All right. So I think we're okay, honestly, because we're going to sneak up with this and deal a buttload of damage to them. And so I think we're actually in really good shape, and our opponent just doesn't know it. Um, trade the Bannerman. What are we getting? We trade the bannerman we get drones which triggers really well and we get a hammer which we're one point away but we also have honor so i th think the correct play is actually to just capitalize uh so we actually are going to do it i'm going to smuggler the bannerman to get the drone and then play forge master still making this guy huge and get in there. Now we're in really good shape because we're gonna have double units that have that we can trigger with display. And this is gonna trigger to make this yeah, I think we're I think we've got it this game. Unless our opponent comes up with some really good answers. Uh, I think we're gonna be in good shape. So that's awesome. Sweet. Draw two cards. I'm okay with oh sweet. So we just I think we just well, they have blockers, so we don't Stone Cold have it. Uh, another Forge Master. Let's, hmm. So, let's be as power efficient as we can. And we're actually just going to go up one. And we'll attack with everything, because really there's no wrong answer here. I don't, they're going to have what, Defiance or a Finest Hour? Uh, tch, tch, tch. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, let's go for the kill. Let's see if they got it. I'm putting them on finest hour, not defiance. Sweet. Okay, so it was. All right, cool. It was a little risky. I, I did get a little aggressive there, but I think we we're going to be in such a good shape that I think it was worth it. Sweet. Level 41. You guys see that? Yeah, you did. Nice. Sweet. I will take the win there. That is awesome. All right, so that's a little bit closer to what we wanted the deck to play at, not whatever happened in game one. Sweet, that's awesome. It's always good when you get to like smash in. And thus why the merchants are so good, ladies and gentlemen, even in limited. It was risky. I do agree with you, Chewbacca. Uh, uh, like I said, I was Defiance. They either had Defiance or... Um, I mean, they, had, they could have had Defiance. 
Torch, I think. I don't remember their factions now. Or uh, Finest Hour. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to keep this again. We have our bare arms. We have the colors to play it. Uh, it is a little risky, but we are on the draw. So I'll keep this. And then plus the thing is, is if they did have it, we will have lost two units, but still had our huge bare arms guy. Um, so I, I think it was kind of worth the risk at that point a little bit. Uh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I, I'm still kind of tweak my play style because I, I will admit that I tend to err a little bit on the side of being overly aggressive or I used to and it used to cost me games. So I, I keep going back and forth is what I'm saying is because then I started to play super conservative and I would lose games. Hmm. So they have open power. Hmm. <laughs> All right, they had no stop. And I'm actually going to hold off on the axe to put on the smuggler. Okay, I do like that. All right, well, this is great for us. Uh, let me see something real quick. When Crackshack Fuse attacks, she gets a plus one this turn for each of your units wielding a weapon. Okay, we can deal with that later. I think I want to keep developing my board. So let's pump once. Pump twice. And we have a blocker for this. And we'll swing. Get in there for five. Still don't think we have anything that we want to send to the market so we'll see if this becomes an issue i don't think i'm gonna block that way i keep the aggression up oh this is great yeah we're gonna take uh, do we want to take a hit here we silence swing that is a little unfortunate what is what's this gonna be on their turn it's gonna be a five hmm yeah, we don't have any... Well, I guess there's nothing we can do right here. So we'll take this. We can silence it and then swing. Sadly, we won't be able to follow up with it with this. Because my essential was to... Hmm. Let's see, let's see. They have one power up. They'll eat this. We silence it. Stays as a 5-5, five, five, right? We can get in there. I think there's no sense to being too aggressive. Let's see. I think he'll just take this. If he doesn't, then we'll kill it with Javelin. If he just lets it go, then we'll probably just silence it. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll just silence it. And... We might change these stick this next turn. We'll see. Still want to hold off on using the axe. That's a good combo as well. Now we can go get the drones and chump block. Okay, that's a little unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Yep, we'll chump here. Let's see what happens if this guy attacks. Still nothing doing. So. All right. Uh, do we go all in? So let's, let's see. Merchant away the javelin. Or, oh, this is a little tough, but we're really low on power, so let's go ahead and just do that. Get two more triggers off of this guy. They got two cards in hand, so let's see what's up. That was wrong. That was a bad attack, actually. We got lucky there, but that was a bad attack. Uh, reason being is, is that we could wait, change you stick it, and get in there without a problem. Okay. I think we still have this game. 
Yeah, we have it now. We just went wider than they did. They went all in on that one unit. So that was the one mistake. Uh, it paid off because they didn't have it. Like it wasn't 100% mistake, but I think we were being a little risky with our best unit, especially where we were at, where I think we could have done a lot better. But it is all good in the hood. Took down game three. Uh, let me go ahead and update the record. But we are one and or two and one. Two and one. Cool. All right, let's go run it back. All right, welcome back for game number four of this draft. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, so this is the first time we don't see a bear arms. We pledge, let's see. So we can pledge, then have turn two depleted to play a fire. Yeah, I think this hand's fine. I think we'll keep it. We get all our colors. We can make some play actions. I like it. Uh, it stinks kind of seeing the Yeti in our opening hand. I would really like to... <laughs> Spoke too soon. All right. Well, we're going to pledge for sure. I think here, actually, I'm going to go Cloud Snake into Bear Arms. Ugh, we're going to be racing. That's for sure. Uh, no point. So let's go ahead and get this guy going. That We're going to take some serious damage from that. So let's see. Turn. Yep. This is a little unfortunate because it is a little risky. Putting the bare arms on the snake, but uh, I don't like that. They, they're playing with their cards. I wish they weren't. What do we have? What do they have that's common? Scout's not common. Oh, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, yeah, let's get in there. Uh, conflagrate. Yep, so they do have a fast spell, so we're not good. we're gonna go ahead and give them some other bait to use and keep ourselves nice and risk free. If they want to use it, they can use it now. I really Oh, okay. Once again, I'm actually still okay with that. Uh, that's the reason why I played another tasty unit instead of the stranger. I wanted to uh, alright. Really wish we had a way to deal with that because we're a little behind the curve. Oh, okay, that's nice. All right, so let's stick to now. I think we're good. Let's bear arms, play a blocker, swing. Another stop. All right. Well, I feel like that means we're going to leave up a display. All right, so we they did have the conflagrate or conflagrate. We did put them on that. I'm trying to think. All right, that's a good pickup for us. A uh, reason being is we can just form enemy unit into a goat. There'll still be. We'll just plus this. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put the display on this guy to get the. Oh, another spell? Wow. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Reason being is, this is going to get us back. And actually... Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. We could have potentially done it for more, but right now it, it gives us the opportunity to use uh, Mighty Strikes later. So, I think we could still win this race, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh darn it. That was just autopilot. All right, so, we missed one point of damage. Our opponent's at six. Let's see. 
All right, cool. We're in good shape. I think we got this with Mighty Strikes. <laughs> Would like to see a power. Or actually, we don't need to. We could trail stories and then have Mighty Strikes come in for two still. And I think that's enough. What'd they get? Call the deck. All right, let's see. All right, well, thank goodness that doesn't kill us. They're playing around us not having the pump, which we do. We're going to swing with both. Oh, they have nothing in hand anyway. Oh, gosh darn it. I am so throwing away stuff. We forgot to trail stories, so I got to be a little bit slower. Yeah, that, that lined up really well, Chewbacca. Jeez, I am just all over the place today. I don't know what is up with me. Making tiny little play mistakes. But we pulled that one off. Our deck, bare arms, man. Being an MVP. I think our deck would have been the nuts if we had gotten a second one. We've been doing all that with just one. But sweet, got there. I like that. I like that. All right, let's uh, keep it going, guys. Might as well. Would be nice to try to hit gold today. Um, this draft was free, so there is a good chance I'll be doing one after this because you guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys joining in. Yeah, you were telling me that you kind of had a bit of a losing streak and stuff. It does happen. Um, yeah, it just, it's a thing sometimes I get like that. And that's one of the reasons why these games are kind of great because they teach you to learn how to lose. And I think it's a good skill to have, believe it or not. Like obviously no one likes losing, but I think the, the that you, you're, especially in best of one, you have such a high chance of variance. You get so many games in that you just kind of get used to it. Uh, I don't know if you listen to the podcast or not, but the one I put up today, as a matter of fact, is a tournament review of my ECQ. And you were there for some of it, I believe. Um, but it definitely talks about my bad beat story for sure and how I tilted. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that does happen. Uh, let's see. So, oh man, this hand is okay. Um, we get to merchant away the hatchling if we can't play it for something. And I think that might be enough to make me keep it. My pleasure, Sandy. Appreciate you joining in. Uh, it's a lot more fun playing with friends and hanging out, so I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Like I said, there is a chance later on I might do another stream. The weather's nice. I might go out and practice my... Oh, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't they have a flyer on turn two? Luckily, we have an answer, but I would have liked to... We are going to take six from this thing? Okay. That's... Would like to see, definitely like to see some shadow or uh, primal. There we go. All right, so let's. I think now. Hmm. So we're gonna definitely use the javelin to kill this guy. So maybe we just pull out the hatchling to trade with this guy. I think we're good on that for right now. It's not the best use of our power, but there's nothing I want to merchant away. Well, that's okay as well. At least put it on the... Oh, bummer. Nope, can't use Mighty Strikes. So, what are we going to kill? What are we going to kill? Luckily, I think now we are going to get the hammer out. So, we can kill something. We're willing to sack. Oh, I guess... Uh, I think killing the flyers is our best bet. What are the options? Play this and then play that on it next turn. That is doable. And then that blocks that? Maybe. Maybe we do stop this thing from getting pumped. Maybe that is the right play. And we're not going to block, so we'll just go ahead and get in there. 
Next turn, it'd be great if we saw bare arms. Uh, yes, you should either receive an email or some kind of notification uh, based on... Ooh, there we go. That's a good pickup. Uh, so, yeah, so you should get a notification when I go live. Uh, you can also follow uh, my social media, mainly the Twitter. I post on there when I go live and stuff like that. But yeah, you should, once you hit subscribe, you should, or I'm sorry, follow, you should get alert notifications. Uh, let's see. So we are low on life, but having this in double damage feels like it's going to get us back. I'm trying to think if I want to ship the Ronin or not. And I think... Mm. Mighty Strikes is good. Pretty much everything else in our hand is gas. But we are going to need that mace. So I think we are just going to do that. Get the mace back. And... I... Uh, yeah, we just got nothing else going on. So I am going to make this a flyer. That way it could block either of these guys. If they attack, then I'm not. Because we really want to get at least one hit in with have display on our open. Okay, that's fine. We draw power. Yes. All right, well, now we're just going to bash. Now I think we could race them. It is a little risky. We are going all in, but this way... I can leave the, because now we're back up. You know what I mean? Um, they got a, what do they got? All right, Chalice is great. This is actually really good for us. Uh, we're going to take this hit. There's no reason. This is going to be really close. All right, let's see if we can get there. Come on, let's go. There we go. All right, let's see. Ooh, another one. All right, so <clears throat> let's swing. And they are choosing not to block. Can we kill them? They didn't block. So we just killed them, right? Plus four, that's nine, that's 18. Yep, got there. What? Nice. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, how double damage does it. Wow. They were not seeing that. So we definitely capitalized there. Huge, we snuck out that win. I'll take it. Oh man, this deck might actually not be too bad. Uh, I don't always post on my Instagram when I'm going live. Reason being is that's obviously for my Seas of the Crowd Pleaser stuff. So I do post on there sometimes. But I try not to post all the time. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll try to be a little bit better about that. Typically though, if you look down below on Twitch, I do have in my description, my schedule. So it will have... Um, I definitely stream on Tuesdays and Saturdays in the afternoons, and I'm going to pick up a third, maybe a fourth day, potentially start kind of growing my community on here. Uh, probably do those closer to the morning time to hit European people and just kind of fit with my nighttime work schedule a little bit better. So yeah, thanks, Chewbacca. I, uh, I'm really glad. I really thought they were going to block there with double damage, us having double pump spells. Uh, yeah, I think, what do we have? We have three units with double damage in our deck. So I think that Yeti actually wasn't a bad pickup. Uh, it's a pretty fun deck. For sure, so far. So I will take that. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Give me a second, guys. Get some stuff. Cool. Also, Anyone in the chat, uh, Sandy, you included. If you guys have an Amazon Prime account, you can actually link it to your Twitch, creating a Twitch Prime account, which you get one free subscription every month. If you guys decide you want to toss that my way, it would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, just food for thought. I didn't know about it. Someone told me. So that's super cool. That being said, if you guys are a subscriber on here, you do get access to special emotes. Uh, I have two so far. When I reach 15 subs, I will get... Uh, two more emotes. So we'll have a total of four for right now. So yeah, just something you guys can have a little fun in chat. You also get a little bit of bat, a little badge and stuff. So some bonus content. Sweet. We're doing pretty good. We might actually get there with this deck. This is awesome. Super stoked. Good way to start my day. Appreciate you guys joining in. Kind of feel like I should have done a, uh, a campaign. Huh. 
do check and see how you have your notifications set sandy it may be uh that may be the the reason whether it's I like mine go to my email i get my twitch notifications and then i turned them on, on my phone so i do see them on my phone actually i have two right now so Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Actually, let me go back to my thing. I hope I didn't miss anyone following or anything. Let me double check. All right, guys. All right, cool. Yeah, once again, if you guys are... Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> this is so bad. Welcome back, guys, for game number six in this draft. Doing pretty well right now. Four and one so far, so we can't complain. Uh, and this is Stone Cold Terrible. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and redraw this. Even though it has our best cards in it, we only had one power. There we go. This is significantly better. Going to have turn one, turn two plays. I like this. So let's go ahead and start off with our Honor or Justice. Going to get our Justice going. And here, I think we're going to go ahead and run out... Probably the Yeti. Uh, I think I'm going to do... Oh, that's kind of tempting the Yeti up. Uh, so, actually, I... Oh, man. Car is a unit. That's a bummer. So, we actually can't play anything. That's a shame. All right. So, we'll go ahead and play our depleted power. We'll see what our opponent does. It would have been really nice to get on curve. We have two of our double units. So, actually, I think I will run out the Yeti. Make them, oh man, okay, we lucked out right there, not gonna lie. All right, so here, let's go ahead and get our evasive target out. There's really nothing I wanna ship just yet, and I really would rather get stuff when we have a better idea. There is a good chance our opponent might be a little bit slower. So, uh, yeah, let's get our watch wing out there. Yeah, there you go, Sandy. Uh, Tristan mentioned, I'm cool with this. All right, so they, it looks like they might be on the go wide strategy, which with this and some flying, I think we can also silence their Intimidator. All right, well, that's unfortunate. But not the end of the world. I would have really liked to see a power there. We are going to, so let's see. Man, this is really awkward. Would have liked to see a power because then we could start chipping away at these things. But I guess we'll just run our Forge Master out there. So I really hope we don't lose this game to power screw. But I will tell you what, I think I am going to take out the Magmatic Sentinel now that I finally saw it and realized that we haven't really gotten there in any of these games and swap it out for a power and then I'll put it in the market. Okay, there we go. All right, so. Let's get our flyer out there. We, I think it's going to be, I'm trying to think if it's more value to attack with this, use the display to gain six life, get the axe, put it on this guy, and then we could start getting in there. Yep, no blocks. Let's see what they play. Uh, we could also deal two damage to each unit. Oh, wow. All right. Well, our opponent's kind of doing it right now, which is extremely frustrating, but not the end of the world. We're at five. What are we looking for? We can get our Vorlunk out. I think that might be fine. Getting rid, and we can also get the diplomat back with the other merchants. Should we do that? So I think that's okay. We'll do that. Get Vorlunk out. That way we have another finisher, right? Over a stun. Yeah, let's do that. I think I'm okay with that. We're at five right now. Our opponent's not giving us too much pressure. We're not going to block. We do have a safe target now for bear arms. We'll take two. Definitely a control deck for sure. All right. Well, let's get in there. Uh, 
And I think of... I mean, I would like it to amplify at least one time, but... Nothing doing. Okay. Let's see what that one card is. It could pretty much be anything since they're on six power. But I think we might be able to get there, so we'll see what's up. Gosh darn it. I miss... Oh, well, that's... Oh, they did at the end of our turn. Okay, that makes more sense. Yep, take two again. It's just not a profitable trade, so there's no reason for it. Okay. This is actually not the best, but not horrible for us either. I'm trying to think if we want to... Well, let's see what we draw first. Now, I guess we got to figure out if we want to javelin... Javelin this, and we don't want to swing. We do take six on that exchange, so it is a little tough, but I'm relying on gaining life, and this on this, yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be the play. So we'll, and we always have Vorlong to use as well. So let's do this, get this guy out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, that is huge. That is really bad for us. Oh, wow. That is really bad. <sighs> all right. All right. Let me think how we recover from this. That was my bad. All right. So, and then next turn we can get Vorlunk out. Well, we can double block that, and then, yeah, okay, okay. We're not in horrible shape. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll take four. So, we'll double block this. Hopefully, they don't have another trick. That makes me feel like they do, but... If we take this off... All right, cool. This is actually okay. Are we just dead? No. All right, so we Vorlunk this turn. We take one, two, three, four, five. We take five, and then we can swim back with Vorlunk and gain the life. Yeah, I think that's correct. Oh, we can only choose a spell? Oh, all right. Well, we're going to gain some life, but we're not in great shape. We're going to take this guy out. That's double unfortunate. Gave us a little bit of a cushion. Uh, oh, sweet. I'm glad you got it worked out, Sandy and Tristan. Thanks for the help. Okay, all right. Ugh, there's the uh, Intimidator we're waiting on all game. So, uh, so here we, we should have, in hindsight, we should have definitely gotten the uh, stun, the flash freeze. Or even Lightning Strike, but Lightning Strike would have been most optimal there, but we obviously didn't know what they were getting, and I feel like we needed to make some plays. So there you can see the kind of the pros and cons to having a merchant. We had access to cards that would have helped us uh, significantly in that situation, but that being said, uh, we used it a little too prematurely, and so we end up kind of getting the wrong cards. Oh, wow. All right. Well, yeah, they, they got it. GG. Good game. Beef. Uh, what are they going to do? If they kill my guy, I'll, I'll, I'll concede. Let's see. Ooh, sorry. So we have the water ball. Yeah, all right. Good game, my friend. And... Bummer on that one. A little bit of bummer. We're getting so close. So close. Now it seems so far away. But that's normally the way it works. All right, guys. Four and two. Let's see if we can rattle off two more wins with this, all right? Uh, of note, we still haven't really seen our Beastmaster. We didn't see our Bear Arms there, a big difference. And they just had a ton of removal. Like, they literally two for one us, I think, twice. So, uh, yeah, let's run it. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 cancel, cancel. Going to switch out the Magmagnetic Titan. I do remember that. So, 
let's do that. I do want to get a little more power. So let's, we're going to take out the Sentinel and add a power. And I'll go ahead and add a Justice or Primal. Uh, this is fine. And then the Market. Oh, I'm trying to think if I like the Vorlunk over the... Yeah, I think I like the Vorlunk over the Sentinel just because this is going to be... Now we have a win con in red as well, blue. There's really nothing else I want to take out. I do like having Grenadine Drone in there for when we have the uh, Bear Arms. So yeah, we'll just keep this. Alright, let's run it. Let's see how it goes. Uh, keep our fingers crossed. Mm -mm -mm. Cool. All right. Uh, ugh. Yeah, I don't like keeping two power hands, especially on the play. Um, even though it is a solid curve, two, three, four. Yeah, no, we're gonna redraw this. If we had one more power, I would keep it. But all right, I like this a lot better. We have all our colors now. We have our infamous Yeti. So let's roll with this. Probably looks like I'm gonna stranger on turn two just to give us the highest chance of playing all our cards in the correct manner. Yeah, cool. And we'll be able to do two on, um, yeah, I like that. Uh, let me not mess this up. Get our fire. Sweet. I will potentially also try to do, I wanna do like a four color good stuff deck and just aggressively take fixing, but I just, I don't know, I have it so ingrained in my head to draft a specific two colors splashing a third that i mean even though this deck i still feel this deck is a splash sweet all right i like that let's go ahead and get in there for two the only unfortunate thing is is that they block um it depends chewbacca it really do, uh, does depend let's go ahead and drop the sage and drop because now if we get a power, we have the ability to javelin. If not, I can also display this guy to get a good trick. Only problem is all these are one toughness, so you could just leave this back to block. So it depends on the deck, Chewbacca. And if I, like example, you saw me keep an earlier hand where it didn't have any primal because I consider primal our splash. So I'm okay seeing that later. But if we're missing justice or fire, I'll be less inclined to do it because... All right, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'd be less inclined to do it because then we have a higher risk of just not playing our game. So that's pretty much the thing. Like see display, I really don't want to use it here and I'm not going to, I'm actually gonna kill their flyer. Uh, I'm trying to think, what does this do? It gets flying and double strike when wielding a weapon. So I am actually okay trading. Let's do this. See if they take that trade or not. And then I'm just going to javelin this guy. They did not, which is expected. Uh, and I am going to take out the fire. I think we can snipe this. All right. Makes attacking a little more difficult. Go ahead and offer this up again. I like another war cry trigger. Yep, that's fine. And I want to keep display up. I just I want display to take really good value. Either give us a huge swing on life or take out a very valuable unit like that guy. So I keep playing our power. We're at a stalemate right now. We're really in trouble. Um we might end up using this as a removal spell. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me see now. If I attack with this, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if they have the trick or not. All right, that was a safe attack, which is great because now I think we're in a very commanding position because 
they're gonna have to do some interesting blocks do a trick oh yes yes i will what i will take that win 100 percent. i will take that win Ooh. Yes, got a diamond chest out of that. Upgrading the uh, second. Ah, oh, man, that was good. That was good. All right, all right. Deck's coming together. I am pretty impressed. I think our hedging our bets a little bit towards uh, Ixton really started to pay off. So started to clean up our gameplay a little bit as well i like it the reason why i was okay attacking there was the fact that they would have if they had a trick then that's fine they were end up losing two potentially three units and a trick to do it and if not then we would have left up with uh display after that which i think would just won us so sweet thanks sandy thanks tristan appreciate it all right cool guys let's go into game number eight all right two more wins let's do it guys let's get there Feeling pretty confident. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. This hand is fine. Um, it's it has our early plays we do have action we could put the helm on the yeti and we have all three of our colors i uh, will probably take turn three off to play this so but see that's what i'm talking about uh, chewbacca here's a perfect example where oh, let me keep it before anything happens where we're not in a hurry to get our blue out and we still have three we could literally go one two and maybe three if we needed to so we'll see where our opponent does and it being limited means it's a good chance that sometimes you can just kind of get underneath. Let's see what's up. They forget to pass the turn. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, let's get our aggressive plate in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. okay i am okay with that spinning the wheels looks good to me so we'll go ahead and keep developing our board get in there for two and pass mm -mm -mm -mm. all right all right, so here is a good opening for us to essentially just use our get our primal going and then swing in get another war cry trigger this is actually really great because regardless they're going to take two we're going to get a war cry trigger out of it and of note i only have to pump this one time to get through this and we also next turn uh two turns away and do that so this is great uh don't get me wrong we don't have the game locked up but we're actually in really good shape here. Oh, okay. All right. That is a little unfortunate. Trying to think of what's the best way to deal with this. Uh, I think next turn we'll just silence it. So they'll get a turn off here, right? Yeah. I don't want to use anything we got going on just yet. So I'll just put a flyer out there. I'm gonna hold off on changey stick. I mean, I guess we could slap it get in there for four hmm five so we're two turns away from this being no i'm gonna wait I'm, I'm gonna be patient there's no sense to be overtly aggressive they are playing shadow and fire so they could have multiple answers we know we have lifesteal in our deck Why did it get flying? They trans. Oh, okay. Cause it. Okay, okay. Uh, we block and we pump and nothing happens. It's a five six. So yeah, we'll take four here. Start the turn. Oh baby. Oh yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and make this awkward for our opponent. 
We attack. Yes. Let's attack. No pump spell. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. We're doing some work here, ladies and gentlemen. Doing some work. Let's see if we get there. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Whew. Come on, come on, come on. I like this. I like this. Double. <laughs> so now the question is if I'm going to bear arms double damage or if I'm going to bear arms the hatchling. And I think there's going to be a good chance I bear arms the hatchling. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, all right. Uh, we can't just win here, so that's a little unfortunate. Bear arms and then hit him. Silence this guy and get in there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. What? Please tap out. Tap out. Tap out. Do something. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Got there. Man, I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous about this deck, but it has come together quite well quite well indeed all right let's bump it up to six and two guys six and two one more one more can we get a w oh that would be fantastic you know how awesome it would be if like we used a free draft ticket to get this draft and we win we're i think we're already even i think with two platinum chests we're already good enough to uh get a free draft so yeah definitely thanks you guys sandy tristan uh chewbacca for tuning in really appreciate it all right, let's see what's going on. We are first, and we have red and shadow. This will... Mm, not uber thrilled about this one. We do have one... or Yeah, I'm going to ship it. I think we could do better. Uh, Yeah, this is solid. Now we're talking. We're going to keep this. All three colors. We have two turn poo, two plays. We have... A display for our Beastmaster, so we are on it. All right, let's get our fire on there and pass. Uh, what happened on Saturday, Tristan? Let's, let's go ahead and throw. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the Yeti out there. I think it's fine. Uh, just because... Alright, that's fine. Either way, we weren't going to be attacking, so I'm okay with that. Here. Yeah, I mean, we could bear arms, but I don't think that's worth it. Or er, Mighty Strikes, rather. Uh, let's get our Stranger out there. And pass. Oh, got you, you got you, yeah, yeah, Oh, that was just because, yeah, yeah, that was the tournament that uh, I had a really good chance of making day two and cashing out, like I hitting a position where I make money, and, ooh, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, sure, let's offer the trade here? Yeah. I actually am going to offer the trade here because, A, figured they wouldn't take it, and we will play our guy. Yeah, I, so long story short, Tristan, I was really, I did better in the tournament than I thought I was going to do, and I had a potential of making day two, cashing out some money and doing really well and kind of getting my name out there, and then I ended up going on a five, ooh, that's a little bad. That's a little bad indeed. Still think we're in good shape. Let's offer this trade. Hmm. I think I don't want to. We don't want to trade here. This can block the rats. 
Are we racing though? Uh, yeah, let's, I know, give me a second, bro. I'm going to attack like this. I want to use the double damage to like really swing the race in our favor. Yep. I'm cool with that. And let's play this dude and pass. I like friendly chats as well, Sandy. Appreciate you joining. Yep, saw that coming. I think we're okay taking four here. Yes, that is great for us. Let's swing this, see what's up. What are they gonna do? Uh, Yeah, that's fine. That is a more than reasonable exchange. We are still at a very high life total, so I am actually gonna wait to uh, think we still, well actually it's the same, right? Oh, it's 10 versus nine, but this has renown. So I think we're actually going to display this guy when we swing. Yeah, it was a little disappointing, but I got over it. Like I normally don't take losses. You, when you play card games like this, you, ooh, all right. That's legit, bro. But I will return the favor. Yes, thank you. Thank you, happy friend. And they did it of note without uh, any open power. So we felt like we were in a really good position. Now, I think that might have been the turn to swing the game. Reason being is we have a ton of big units on the board now. We have a unit to block their flyer. We have a unit that could block their ground guys. We're essentially back at our starting life total. And I mean, all I need is one more power to hit the amplify on this. And we're just getting in there, doubling this guy up and giving it power. Actually, I think. All right, I'm okay with this as well. Uh, let's see gonna get a smidge greedy and put the double damage on this guy uh, not gonna attack with this dude let's go like this yeah that's fine they have something they have something and that's okay uh, maybe I should have waited a turn so I can essentially hit, keep Mighty Strikes open. But I think we're in enough of an advantage. And they're only going to be able to deal with one of these two things. So they're going to take two, go down to nine. Mighty Strikes is going to trigger all these things. Are they killing? Oh, all right. Well, that's that's a little unfortunate. But oh, okay, cool. We just got there. Sweet. Yes. That was it, right? That was Yes. Oh my god, so close to gold. Why? Why? All right. Oh man, if we didn't lose one game, this would have got us in the gold. Right on. All right, sweet, guys. Let's open it up. Nice win. We will take that. Let me uh, screenshot this real quick. Uh, where's my screenshot button? Work. Do, 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 do. Post that on Twitter a little bit later. Got it. All right, I think we got it. Maybe not. All right. Cool. Yeah, thanks for being there, Chewbacca. Nice. Thanks, guys. Let's open up our rewards real quick, see what's up. Welcome, welcome, anyone that is uh, tuning in right now. Appreciate you guys coming out. Just finished the draft. Nice. Definitely going to do another draft. Ooh, Warband Scald got that on foil. Digging that. Let's open up these packs as well. That was fun. That was definitely fun. We uh, took a chance with the Yeti, but it paid off. That thing does some does some work. All right. I think we needed that one, actually. Uh, nope, we didn't. Okay, fair enough. I think I have all the champions now. Might be missing one. Period. Um, don't... Eh, that guy's fine. It's just some draft shaft. And... Ooh, Grasp of Shadows. I wish I would have gotten that before I crafted it. All right, cool. All right, guys. Nice. 
Once again, this was a draft video from a Jedi from Eternal Journey, aka Seas of the Crowd Pleaser. If you guys like this content and want to see some more, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below and follow button. It is really appreciated. And you can catch me streaming live every Tuesday and Saturday afternoon. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video this week. If you'd like to continue to see other content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe and alert buttons to find out when new videos are posted. Also, stay in contact with me at EJThePodcast on Twitter and at gmail.com. And watch my live streams at twitch.tv slash Jedi underscore EJ, where you can catch me streaming live drafts, singletons, and constructed formats. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.